scoreboard is really cool because it drops down exactly where you need it and when you need it. And now with our PowerBoard NX, it does all of that and you no longer have to tap into the complicated factory wiring harness. But it did add a couple new things. Rick? Jeff, what we added with the kit was a sensor, a wireless sensor, along with a magnet trigger that allows you to put these onto the car and avoid the wiring harness altogether. So you can open and close the door and still get the boards to move when they're supposed to. But that, of course, means that we have to figure out exactly where to put that magnet and that sensor so that it signals the power boards just drop every time you need them. We're here today to give you some tips and tricks on the right place to put them and how you can make sure they're working right. Let's do it. On this Dodge, they're already installed. So the sensors are on this door jam in here? We recommend the primary position for the sensors. Oh, they're down here on the B pillar of the truck. That gives you the easiest access for both front and rear doors to locate the magnet and the sensor in the right position. So this is the one for the front door and this is the one for the back door? Yes, it is, Jeff. Pretty simple to see. When you look at it from the side, you can get a good view of where the magnet is relative to the sensor and you can make sure they're in the right spot. So on this one, with the door open, you can really see this B pillar. So it makes it real easy to line up. The great part about doing it in the middle is that you can see from front to back or from back to front in order to get those positioned correctly. Okay. So is there really any trick to this? I mean, we've been getting some customer calls that people are getting the magnets in slightly the wrong spot. Mm -hmm. So what's the trick? Well, on the sensor, it comes printed with some information including the approximate location for where the magnet should be placed. If you can get the magnet in the proximity of that location, then it's going to work right. Okay, but once the magnet is in place, so the magnet goes on the door. Magnet goes on the sensor door. Sensor goes on the B pillar. Mm -hmm. And as soon as the door opens, it pulls the magnet away from the switch, and that's what triggers everything. That's right. And then this magnet that's actually mounted on here has got the little cover on it. Mm -hmm. So once the magnet it sticks to the metal, of course, but once you've got it in the exact spot, you use this little guy? Yeah, once the magnet is in the right position and the sensor is working the way you want it to, we include a magnet holder that just goes right around that magnet, and it has an adhesive on the back to keep it in the same spot. Ah, okay, so that just keeps the magnet from doing that, from moving around. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what are the steps? So the right way to do this would be to go ahead and open one of your doors, leave the other one closed, Grab the sensor that's marked with the right, correct position in the car you're trying to set up, and you can place that on the B pillar here, anywhere in proximity so that you can see how close it is to the door. At that point, you can place the magnet right about where it needs to be, and you can start opening and closing the door to test it. Okay, so it's a trial and error type of thing. You can move the magnet as much as you want, the great thing about this system is it lets you customize it to your particular truck's configuration and you can put them wherever you think is working best for your application. So on this Dodge, the real obvious place is right down here because it's nice and flat. It's a big surface, plus it's out of sight. Yeah, lots of space here. Real easy to see, real easy to get your hands in in order to put the parts in the right spot. If I had one of those trucks that has the uh, suicide door in the back, then I'd probably mount, I don't have a B pillar. You don't have a B pillar in that it's fixed on the truck, but you do have it at the front of that suicide door. Oh, so the front door goes here, mm -hmm. and then the back door goes here? Well, there is no back door on a suicide uh, that you would need because you have to open the front door, in which case the step's going to go down every time. I didn't think that went all the way through. Okay. Jeff, we have another truck over here where we can show you some alternate ways for installing the sensors. So you do get some flexibility in where you put this. Sure, sure. In this case, on the Ford, we've got an example where the rear door sensor is installed at the very back of the door. Uh, it is going to work, but we do recommend, like I said, primary position at the B pillar. Alternate positions could be at the C or even the A pillar if that's where you chose to put them. So for whatever reason, we decided to put it, the magnet here and the sensor on this door jam in the back. Mm -hmm. And you can see as you start to line it up that the magnet's going to go right over the top of that sensor but it probably took a little bit of, again, trial and error to get that in the exact right spot. Yeah, without the B pillar position and being able to see into that location, 
it is a little bit more difficult and it takes a little bit more t uh, trial and error, like you said, to get it in the right spot. Okay. So I could probably have put this magnet right there and then just, yeah, and then moved it. But as long as I don't put the, uh, the holder on until I'm ready, That's right. it doesn't matter. Yeah, Jeff. If you wait until the uh, magnet and the sensor are working properly and the step is going up and down the way it should, then you would put the magnet holder on to secure it in position. And on the front door, you went with the classic B-pillar installation. So how close does the magnet need to be to that sensor? It needs to be around a half inch or so, but it'll vary depending on installation. So the ideal is to get it basically as close as possible, which is what, about a quarter inch, maybe a little less? It's going to depend on the configuration of the truck and how you mount the sensors. But if you can get it to within about a half inch, that's when you should start seeing the... And then as soon as I move over half an inch, it triggers it. Correct. Yeah, if, it, if the magnet's too far away from the sensor when you close the door, the sensor doesn't get the signal to retract the step. Okay. Jeff, the nice thing about the RF system is you can put these anywhere. I want to show you on this truck how this sensor is installed. It does work this way. But we prefer and we recommend that you put it on the B pillar and then you would put it so that it's facing sideways like this. It just right. helps with the performance. So they decided to just for show and tell purposes, they put it upright on this one, but better to go the other direction. And since there's no room there for that, B pillar it is. That's right. So B pillar is, is the preferred installation? B pillar is where we recommend the primary point B for the installation. You can go to the A or the C. The great thing about the RF is it gives you a lot of flexibility. Very cool.